So now that we've learned about the three forms of lines, we're going to look at the slope intercept first, okay? And we're going to try to find the slope when an equation is given to us in slope intercept form. And this is really easy because the S is slope, slope intercept. And we're trying to find the slope. Well, it's right there, right? Y equals MX plus B. Notice that this is saying Y equals M times X, right? M times X plus B, right? Plus B. That's what we're looking at. M times X plus B. That's what we're looking at right there. M times X and plus B. So the slope is M, right? It is the coefficient here. If it's M times X, then M is the coefficient on X when the equation is solved for y. Think back to literal equations. So I've isolated the y by itself. Right? I mean, I could also come in here and I could rearrange this and I could say, okay, if I subtract b from both sides, then I would get that. If I divide everything by x, then I can get y minus b over x equals the slope. I mean, I can, I can do all kinds of useless stuff with this, but ultimately, if I have this, if I have y by itself, then I have the m times the x, and the m is the coefficient. I've, I've isolated the y by itself on the one side of the equal sign. So it means y is isolated by itself on one side of the equal sign. See right here? And if that's the case, if y is solved for, if the equation is solved for y, then it is in slope-intercept form, and your slope is just the coefficient on the x. So here's some examples, okay? Here's some examples. All right, so um, y equals negative 5 halves x minus 5. We know it's in slope-intercept form because the y is isolated. And so all I need to find the slope is looking for the coefficient on the x. So in this case, m equals minus 5 halves. Okay. Here, I know y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. I know this is in slope-intercept form, again, because the y is isolated. So my slope is just going to be that coefficient on the x. So here, m equals 4 thirds. Here, y equals 4x plus 2. Again, it's in slope-intercept because y is isolated, so that's my slope, so my slope is just 4. And if you want to think about this in terms of rise over run, it's 4 over 1 right? So that'll be a useful little trick we end up using a lot. This one is also in slope-intercept form, even though you don't see a number here, because what does this negative x plus 3 mean? Well, that means negative 1x plus 3, right? So here, m is negative 1, which um, could also be thought of as negative 1 over 1, uh, if you want to do rise over run, which of course is the same as 1 over negative 1. Uh, this is this one could also be thought of as negative 4 over negative 1 because they all equal the same thing. This could be negative 4 over negative 3. This could be negative 5 over 2. This could be 5 over negative 2. They all mean the same thing. So just think about working your fractions and your knowledge of fractions when you're doing this. Okay? Great.